Hi, today I'm creating Joy. We're going to learn how to sew on Velcro. So for our project today, we're going to go ahead and get some Velcro. We have two pieces that I've cut off. Get Cut off about one inch for both sides. You can get boxes of Velcro, packages, and make sure that it doesn't have any sticky tape on the back. Get two pieces of fabric. So today to prepare, all we're going to do is we're going to sew under a quarter of an inch once, iron it down once, and then twice on both sides. And then we will go and sew them up. Okay, so this gives us a finished edge. Okay, let's go to the sewing machine. If you want to go ahead and put a pin in it, you can. So if you're gonna sewing it that way, you would want your pin facing the direction that you're going to be sewing so that you can pull it out when you're sewing it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take our fabric and just one more to backstitch and sew and then backstitch at the end. We're going to do chains Chain piecing where you put it right up next to each other. We'll sew, back stitch. Okay, two more pieces. Okay, let's go ahead, get our Velcro, and pin it on. Okay, so we're going to take our Velcro and we're going to Take and put it right along the edge and just put a pin right in the center. Okay, and then we're going to make sure that this is lined up. So this Velcro, you've got the soft side, this is the rough side, and this is the sticky side. Okay, so you want it to line up. You want to make sure that it's sticking up so that when you Put this, let's see, you have to, so this is why you have to do this, because you have to look at it. Okay, so if we want this to be the bottom part, and you want this to be the top part, then we're going to go like this. So I've got this one here, and this one's going to be on the back side. So that when it comes over, then it will be closed like that. Okay, great. So now that we have thought it through, Okay, so we have that facing down. Okay, so this is actually where we're going to pin it on. We're going to pin it on the back side of this one. So it's really good to, to look at your project and think about how it's going to be. Okay, so we're going to pin it on. And then we're going to sew along here, put your needle down, then put your presser foot up, and you're going to pivot and turn it. And then you're going to sew again, put the needle down and pivot. Sew, put the needle down and pivot. And then you're going to backstitch right here when they meet up again at this corner. Okay, so that's what we're going to do to both sides. So I'm going to put my pin in the other one. Once you get started, you're going to see me as I sew. You just, you take the pin out after you get started. Okay, so we'll sew this first line and then take the pin out. Okay, great. Let's go sew it together. This is where I put my needle down and I turn it or pivot. So on this one, I went just a step over I was off of my Velcro, so I backstitched. No, it's okay. And 
turn it. Here we go to the end, and we're going to back stitch. Okay, and we're coming up, and we're going to go ahead and cut all of our strings off. Okay, so let's do our second one. So let's take a look at it. So we've got this one down, and this one hooks up with it, and it velcros together, and there you have it. So this is our project for today. Let's go ahead and pin it on our paper, and I'm going to show you something that you can use it with. Okay, I went ahead and I pinned on my velcroed fabric onto my paper, and I'm going to put it inside my skill book, and I hope you do too. Now I'm going to show you something that I have that was made with Velcro. So years ago, my grandmother made this cute little apron and it has Velcro on it. Let's see. And you just, just like how we sewed it on, that's how it sewed on. So this is something that you could use your Velcro for. I hope you'll join me next week for our final week of our skills book. It is our celebration. Come and join us and learn how to use your embroidery stitches on your machine. See you next week on Creating Joy.